Hello, hello, hello. Let's draw the soccer ball with shading and form. You will need a ruler as well as something to trace a circle about the size of your hand when it's spread wide. I have a piece of cardstock to go with my watercolor. Then I also have an eraser, a black and white crayon, a waterproof marker, a pencil, and watercolors. Let's get started. First things first, I'm going to take my circle and trace off to the side so it's not even on my paper, I moved it over. Now I'm going to teach you how to draw that pattern of a soccer ball. So I'm going to start with a star in the middle of my paper. Then I'm going to connect the points of my star just like this. From here, I'm going to start drawing the line that goes from the point of my star all the way to the end of my circle. The last thing I'm going to do is draw a little triangle on the end. So it's kind of going to look like a snowflake a little bit right now. A soccer ball, the most common pattern is a pentagon with five sides surrounded by hexagons with six sides. So that's what we've done. Once you have that outline, you can trace over it with your black waterproof marker. You can also use the black crayon if you don't have a waterproof marker. I'm going to trace everything except for the star and then I'll color it in. You can follow along. Ta-da! An easy way to draw the pattern of a soccer ball. Pause here until you're finished. When you are ready, you are going to start with your black crayon and we're gonna add some shading. We're assuming that the light is in that top corner and so the shadows are gonna be on the opposite side of our soccer ball. I'm gonna start really light and the closer I get to the middle of my soccer ball, the lighter my shading will be. So I'm going really light, really gentle. And then I'm gonna add some dark lines towards the bottom where there's less light, so it's darker. I'm gonna keep on going until I'm happy and it looks very blended and natural. Darker, darker, darker on the bottom. The next thing is to draw my shadow on the ground. So I'm gonna mark it out roughly on my paper and then closest to the soccer ball in that area, I'm gonna go darker and then I'll kind of lighten it up as I move out to the edges. I'm gonna be using watercolors, so I'm doing the crayon first and that way the watercolors will just go right over my crayon. When you're happy with all your shading and shadows, we are going to draw our background space. So I need my ruler, 
I'm gonna go across my horizon line. Then from there, I'm gonna add the edge of my uh, field. And they use white lines, so you can do it anywhere. You can do it a little bit more tilted or straight, however you want your line to be, that's fine. And I'm gonna do two lines next to each other, just like that. Then I'm going to add my net. So I'm gonna go up and over, just like a soccer net would be. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of marks on the field. There's usually like a halfway mark on the soccer field. So I'm gonna draw that and it's off to the side because it's at an angle. Now I'm going to take my white crayon and I'm gonna color in real thick in those lines that I made. Inside the net, I'm just doing a lighter cross hatch. So I just went diagonal both ways. Now you can see when I pause where my crayon is. All right, when you are ready, you can get out your watercolors and I'm gonna wake up the blues, the greens, and the browns and purple. First things first, I'm going to draw my sky or I'm gonna color in my sky. If you wanted, you could have used your white uh, crayon to add some clouds or other details, but I'm going to just start with my blue sky. I'm doing it first because I need it to dry, and then once it's dry, I'll be able to add like a line of trees over that. Now I'm going to work on my field. So I'm using some bright greens and I'm just gonna paint my field. I'm being careful when I'm around the edge of my soccer ball. But other than that, I can just go over everything because the crayon will push away all the water from the watercolors. My white lines are a little bit covered and I want them clean, so I'm using a paper towel to just gently wipe away the extra watercolor. Now I need it to dry, and when it's just a little bit not so wet so that it doesn't bleed, the colors don't bleed together, I'm gonna start mixing either blacks with green or with some purple, just a darker color. I kind of experimented with a couple at the bottom and I'm gonna start adding a line of trees in the background, right where that horizon line is. Same thing as before, I want my net to stand out, so I'm just gently patting away the extra paint. And there you have it, wait for it to dry, and you have your finished complete soccer ball with shading and form.